this together. Had he not gone off the racetrack, we could have had a great carambulage. A pile-up in the first corner. Nevertheless, we are going forward. 73 lap schedule. Here is the end of the first. Senna with Cross right there. From the way he went in the warm-up this morning, and from the way the Ferraris went last week in Estoril and how they were expected to go here in Spain and also in the three weeks time in Japan if Prost gets around Senna at this early stage Senna would be in deep trouble quickly down the grid it is Senna, Prost, Mansell, Berger, Boots and Patrese then Nelson Piquet and Sandro Nernini team by team by team Warwick, Martini, Aglio the 21 Delara of Emanuele oh, yeah. Piro so we have at least two cars out Working lap two, and Prost right there. Very tight hairpin here, and then a launch onto the front straightaway. This is the corner you've got to get right if you want to do some overtaking, because coming into turn one is probably the best place here to do it. Prost takes a look to the inside, then pulls outside again. David, knowing that you're going to have to change tires sooner or later, is there perhaps a bit of an incentive to work them hard in the early going here? Well, I think also that... Uh, Frost is an absolute pass master at making other people drive their tyres off the car, but Senna seems to have picked up quicker than most people the art of self-preservation or tyre preservation, and he and Frost are the absolute master of that game, really head and shoulders above the rest of the field at that particular art, but I think Frost is really putting the pressure on here to try and make Senna use his tyres up. I think that Frost feels that the McLaren is a weaker chassis than the, than the Ferrari, and that if he can just push Senna enough, uh, the weakness in that chassis will do the job for him on the tire. Working lap six of a scheduled 73, you're riding with the world champion, Alain Prost, in a car that he drives arguably better than any man in the world. Of course, there's only one other man in the world who gets that opportunity right now, Nigel Mansell. Up ahead, arguably the fastest man ever in Formula One, Ayrton Senna of Brazil in a McLaren. Watch the Ferrari drivers and note that Alain Prost's hands never leave the steering wheel. The shifting is done by a series of butterfly levers on the steering wheel, as opposed to someone like Senna up ahead who has to drop that right hand down to a shift lever mounted on the side of the monocoque to change gears. As the key thing is losing that aerodynamic efficiency, but I have to think that the Ferraris have their aerodynamics absolutely just right this year. They were so good last week in Estoril, they're good here. Maybe he can even afford to be that close and still uh, have his car work pretty well. These are the S's. Look at Frost now. Very close behind. He needs to really capitalize coming out of that last corner onto the pitch straight, his best chance. But there are other places where he could sneak through. There are several corners like that here, and Alain Pro seems faster to me in several places on the track, and you have a better vantage point, David, but he has to pull back a little bit to get clean air through these sweeping, very fast corners in Spain. And there's no doubt about it, that's where he is fast. He's fast all the way down through those two, gets right up behind them, coming into the hairpin here, the Enzo Ferrari hairpin, but... And, for the first time, takes that close line in behind Senna. Trying to snook a Senna there, but didn't work out. You notice Senna goes right to the middle of the racetrack, not over to the left side of the driver's left, where most of them have been, setting up for this first corner. Senna slides right out into the middle of the track. I think they call that tactical drift. <laughs> yeah. Both these drivers playing a waiting game, and of course Nigel Mansell just sitting behind them both, letting these two guys do all the work. He hasn't dropped significantly back at all, so he's right there, ready to pick up where these two leave off if either of them should make the slightest bit of a mistake. We are in Jerez, Spain, watching the Spanish Grand Prix, working lap number 17 of 73 set. It is Ayrton Senna leading as he has since the green light over Alain Prost. Nigel Mansell remains third. Gerhard Berger continues to slide back. He is fourth, but 7.2 seconds in arrears. Terry Bootson and Ricardo Patrese, the Williams teammates, rolling along in tandem, followed by Nelson Piquet and Sandro Nanini, the Benetton teammates, then Derek Warwick, Pierre Luigi Martini, and Philippe Ayo, a world champion who decided he would have some fun with the press, including those of us here at ESPN. Watch as they come off the corner how the McLaren just jumps away from the Ferrari. The Ferrari drivers, and of course all the McLaren drivers, have always said how much uh, grunt and sheer horsepower the McLaren, the Honda engine has got down low and of course all racing engine 
designers and developers want to do is crank out that huge number at the top end. But to drive a racing engine, you need power as much as you can all through the range. You need torque as well as just sheer power. The thing has got to be drivable. Now you're on board with Alain Frost looking ahead at the leader. You get the sense that there is perhaps a little con game going on here. Neither driver wants to pit. No. <laughs> Dead right. And it will become a battle of the pit crews. Both teams had very quick early stops. I'd give the edge to McLaren, who got Berger out faster than Ferrari was able to get Mansell out. And that could spell the difference in this race. The gap between these two drivers staying in an official half a second, which... It fluctuates up and down between that and maybe a second, and maybe even less if they go into some of these slow corners. Okay, let's take a look now. We talked about the difference between the two cars. The Ferrari drivers, as you can see Frost there, able to keep both hands on the wheel as the engine shifts up and down. Now watch the right hand, the red glove of Ayrton Senna. Down it goes, and he's going through one of the tightest parts of the track here, the chicane. And watch. Down it goes to shift again. And some of these shifts take place in the corners. That's the problem. When you want to make the shift in the corner, it has to be a very quick hand move. Whereas, of course, the little toggle switches on the Ferrari make that much simpler. And I'm sure that when Ferrari have got all the bugs out of that system, that uh, the other top teams will certainly pick it up. And that's going to be an interesting story to watch develop. Incredibly fast right here. 160 miles an hour. Frost will pit. Left-hander. Now let's see how quickly he goes down the pit lane with people everywhere. Take it away, John. This could be a world champion pit stop here if it goes well. Alain Prost may have an advantage going back on the cars in the air. All four down. Yes, man, out in front of the car, away. A very, very quick spot and Jerry boots it in. Just about, looks about four or five for our mechanics. Well, he's coming through the last two right-hand sweeps now. This is when I would expect him to make his stop. Oh, God, that's what he doesn't need. Yes, here he goes. Again, Again just look at the speed of this car down the pit lane. Here comes Senna to you, John. Senna is coming to me. He's right in front of me now, the yellow helmet of the Brazilian, trying for this world championship. Every man here wanting that world championship. And the team won his part. That was a very quick pit stop. Congratulations, McLaren guys. Nothing, nothing. And there goes Alain Prost pass, and Nigel Mansell slows. Is he playing blocking back? I don't think so. I think he had a problem. Gosh, that was just one of those things where everything happened at once. So the electronic timing system still shows Senna leading, but that's obviously not the case. Alain Prost slipped by. The McLaren boys were quick, but not quick enough. About a seven-second pit stop for Ayrton Senna, but this man has assumed the lead. Now here's a look again. There from uh, Prost's car as he slides past. Then Nigel chopped straight across behind him and almost took out Ayrton Senna. But Senna never looked back for a moment, drove right back underneath Mansell and resumed in second place. 